Uh, we had a briefing where we went through a number of issues that we've been discussing, uh, more of a focus on uh, the housing, long-term housing uh, situation. It's starting to get cold. People are in homes uh, that are uninhabitable. Uh, it's going to become increasingly clear that they're uninhabitable when the temperature drops and the heat doesn't go on. Uh, that's when they're going to know uh, they are uninhabitable. People don't like to leave their homes, but uh, the, the reality is going to be in the, uh, in the temperature. Uh, and then we're going to have tens of thousands of people who need housing solutions uh, right away and a, a variety of housing solutions, some short-term, some long-term. Uh, so designing a system that, uh, that works for that has, was a major focus of the briefing. Let me give you a couple of quick updates on the numbers of the situation. Uh, on power outages, as of this morning, 730,000 people rate remain without power. That is down from 2.1 million. So about one-third of those who have been without power have been left with power. On the trains, uh, the trains progress has been very good. As of this morning, trains are running between Brooklyn and Manhattan through the two tunnels and two bridges. The two, three, four, five subways are running under the East River. The D and J trains are running over Manhattan and Williamsburg bridges. The South Ferry Station, which at one time was a large fish tank, has now been pumped dry. Uh, this is not to say that service will be normal tomorrow. Service will not be normal tomorrow, and we need you to understand that before you enter the system. Right now, just here as of this morning, 86,000 uh, households have registered. Again, these are households that have registered for assistance. Already directly deposited in those accounts is $97 million. Uh, thanks to the work of the senators, if you remember last year, there was a lot of questions that FEMA have the money to respond to Hurricane Irene. Uh, your senators made sure that FEMA had the funds to respond to disasters this year. This will not be a limiting factor on the initial response. 